Okay, so in today's video, what we are going to be really talking about is how you can find basketball tournaments just for your team. Now, let's say you just started a basketball team and you're a coach, and of course, you need to find basketball tournaments. So for seasoned vets, we all know where to check. There's quite a few different areas and some and most of the times the tournaments just get fed to us. So what I mean by that is, okay, if you've been around for a long time, for example, myself, I've been coaching basketball for well over 15 years. I am into a couple of different coaching groups and I just see when tournaments pop up. It's quite easy. Now, other people may who have been around for a long time may just know where to check while uh, we just know also who to follow on Instagram. That's basically what it comes down to. So for vets, we know where to check and and of course most of them get fed to us i get uh, i get a tournament email almost every week maybe sometimes even three to four times a week to say hey come play in our tournament so for us who have been around for a long time it just gets fed to us however for those who are just starting i'm not talking about because i know i i, I get comments from players say how do i find a tournament well you need to find a team first so if you're a player you need to find a team get a fi find a team but if you're a coach um, one of the best ways that you can, what you can do at the beginning is to follow, um, different tournament, uh, pages on Instagram. What I mean by that is like, for example, up here in Canada, what you can follow is of course, there's a, an Instagram called SummerSlam. And when, when they have a tournament, they have one, one, maybe two tournaments a year and they're doing that in Toronto. So you follow their page, and then when, when they post, hey, this is our, our next tournament coming up, you just you, you sign up for it if you want to go to it. Then there's another one called Jane and Finch. They have their own tournament Instagram page. You follow their page. You just try to find tournaments in your local area or people who run tournaments in your local area, and you follow them. Now, coming from that perspective, that's probably the hardest way to find tournaments because you may not always know what tournaments are around. The easiest way would be if you just download the app called Exposure. If you download the Exposure app, and this is not a sponsor video whatsoever, this is just me knowing the app, uh, almost everyone puts their tournament on the Exposure app and that is the best resource. You can search by city, you can search by state, and you can get the tournaments that are in your area. You just have to watch out because some tournaments, for example, the ones that may be sponsored by Under Armour, you may need to have some extra things that you need to do that are not necessarily telling you what you need to do on the app. So for example, one year I took my players, this is when I was more of a beginner coach, down to the States for a Nike tournament. We had to wear Nike shoes, we didn't know. We had two players who, at game time, didn't have uh, Nike shoes. They were wearing other company brand shoes. And what they had to do was either miss that game or find somebody who had Nike shoes. Those two players, because we found out five minutes before the game started, there were still kids from the previous team still getting changed and ready and moving. They just went up to them and said, hey, can I use your shoes for our game? We didn't know this was happening. Can I give you 10 bucks for the game for your shoes? And then that, that player stuck around so he wouldn't lose his shoes for 10 bucks, And we, they were able to play. That's just how things work sometimes. But um, just make sure, like, if you go into an Under Armour tournament, you're probably going to be required to wear an Under Armour shoes, Under Armour shirts underneath, Under Armour jerseys, things like that. You need to be able to wear, have those for your game. If you don't, then you don't play. There's also a lot of tournaments that if you read the fine printing will say you need to stay at our hotels that we provide or you don't play and we will audit you. If that happens, you have to stay at their hotel. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of different rules. You just need to read the fine print. But this video is not about the fine print. This video is about how to find tournaments. So you can go on Instagram. You can find tournaments that way. You can go on to let's say the exposure app you can find tournaments that way if you have a governing body i'm not too sure where you are in the world but if you are in canada you can find tournaments on the ontario basketball website if you're from ontario 
and any of the ones that are affiliated with Ontario basketball throughout the winter season, you will find on there. Those are all ranked tournaments, ranked games, and you, you can then input the scores into your ranking on the Ontario basketball website. So with those, that that's uh, that's a few of the ways that you're able to essentially find tournaments. There's other ways as well. Now, you can go up to other coaches. So for example, if you're the type of coach that can get along with other coaches, you can go up to a coach that you just played. Let's say you just played a team, you won or lost by 10 points, and you say, hey, I'm looking for tournaments, man. Do you know where I can get tournaments, where I can find tournaments? Do you know of any tournaments in the local area? Is your club running a tournament? Do you know tournaments? And then maybe exchange phone numbers so that maybe you can get a game with them later on. And you can get more games that way. So just being able to network and maybe they'll add you to a group. Maybe they'll say, you know what? Hey, we're in. I'm in this group that... Uh, it, it's it's ran for all the the coaches at our age group, and we share tournaments. We share that we want to have a game against a certain somebody, a certain level of team that we just network in that group. And maybe they'll add you to that WhatsApp group. And when you're doing and networking stuff, things like that, it makes life a lot easier as a basketball coach trying to find tournaments. So if you are looking to get more tournaments or looking to just figure things out if you're a brand new coach this is how you do it i hope that this video has helped you if it has hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time